I think to an island, to another planet. I think the would be better if there was less white people. What? <sighs> Fat people are just malnourished. Oh. That's the problem. Okay, I'm I think they need a little one. bit less nourishing. I would give myself a 10 out of 10. I'm dating celebrities, I mean, billionaires, real, millionaires. Like, I'm not even going to name drop some of the celebrities, but their boyfriends are in my DMs. I'm one of the most beautiful models in the world. I get flown from New York to LA to Canada. Because there's a political tool. You're a political it tool. It doesn't matter. Welcome back to Rattlesnake TV, guys. Today, we're going to be watching an interaction on the Whatever podcast that was eye-opening, to say the least. This exchange is between Andrew Wilson from the Crucible YouTube channel and a morbidly obese supermodel and OnlyFans creator. Not my words, guys, hers. She is a self-proclaimed supermodel. And also, she does have an OnlyFans account where humans go to pay her money to do the things that she does on there, which we will get into a little bit later. So this may seem like a bit of a joke and it is certainly funny at times, but it also highlights some very, very important cultural issues that are going on in the West at the moment. So without further ado, let's get into the first part where this hot supermodel gives her take on men, which I have a few opinions about myself. If let's we're reading my hate man white tweets, we're gonna be here for a while. Let's get into it. We'll, we'll try to move through them quick. Am I supposed to... uh, but these are some of your tweets. Yeah. White men, I especially don't need your un your opinion unsolicited. 2019 okay. on brand. Why is it? Why specifically white men? Just curious. Um, it's always just white men that just like some okay. kind of problem. I grew up in a pre predominantly mostly like white neighborhood and it's just like one white man after the next is like always the fucking problem always starting some shit always getting in a fight these are like rich neighborhoods which i think are like even worse because they have the money to try to do whatever the fuck they want okay. the most times i've been in danger the most like anything like bad things is like always happening around white the men what the most yeah. times that you've been in <gasps> let me ask you this have you lived in predominantly non-white areas now yes and i'm usually the only white person in most places i go to uh -huh. so i feel much more comfortable well, men wait, are so on. gross they really are though i'll just okay. have you continue reading them I'm here's your monthly update june update men are still <laughs> trash <laughs> facts so, f okay men are um okay next i guess november forecast men are still <laughs> trash <laughs> I do the monthly update like besides Go. white men in general nothing triggers me more when a white man tells me to keep it up when I'm working out oh yeah I okay. hate that the reason white I guys asked. white literally, literally all the time I'll work out Maybe. and they'll come up to me and like be like good job keep going you got this but like they'll pass <laughs> Yamani or like someone else behind me or in front of me and says nothing to them Again, well, well most, could you think of a reason why that might be because the they, they're head. amazed that a fat person does exercise <laughs> right so it's, it's, I mean, what, but think so about that for you, a second though. Like what you just, just said. Like that's like if you were in the fifties and like watched like a black person drink out of a white water fountain, you're not gonna be like, uh, no, it's you. a little different. No, like, it's not like that. Different. Maybe and, a little different. Guys, if you're enjoying this video and if you appreciate me going through these long podcasts, bringing you all of the fire content, then I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up on the video to help me out with my algorithms. And also if you subscribed, to the channel and if you do welcome to the community back to the clips um next tweet <laughs> <laughs> ew you're so disgusting hashtag men 2015 little, little, Ooh, that was a tough little year. misandrist don't you think okay what nice. oh, sorry what does misandrist mean it's the opposite, opposite of misogyny, of misogyny. The okay hatred contempt Ooh, okay of men god cursed me with a middle-aged and african men hitting on me oh okay Okay, that's like that's, 2010. That's like yeah, that's a long time ago. That's eighth grade. No, <laughs> but hold on. I love African on. men. No, I mean, they can wow, be a lot. It didn't sound like you liked them that much then. Wait, um, well, that's you, also when I was growing up, like seventh grade Republican. So, okay. do you want to go ahead? Men are disgusting pigs. I'm sick to my stomach. And Being very honest, a lot of men usually like that I say that stuff because what? Yeah, <laughs> um, the reason what? being is they think it deters other men. So they're like, oh, okay. the Whoa. woman who hates men chose me. She must love me. They think she won't cheat because she's a misandrist. Is that what she's saying. Is and so the most guys thing. that I love when I say that, they're like, oh my god, yeah, like you're only. With me i'm special i know it sounds crazy but that 
I mean, that checks out, but also I want to point out a difference. Uh, It doesn't check out, but When she's tweeting, I hate men, she's saying it because it's chic. And like she pointed out, she was participating in hookup culture because of Cardi B. It's not because, I don't think she actually has, if you were to put her on a like lie detector test, I don't think she actually has hatred towards men. I don't think she actually, Eh. I don't think she Eh, actually gets off on violence towards men. I think a lot of men though who do have value. So for those of you who aren't quite trendy enough to know this, chic means elegantly stylish and fashionable elegantly stylish and fashionable. So it's like elegant and stylish to hate men these days, guys. Now, I wish that I could say that the notion of hating men was sort of fringe, but unfortunately it's not. We want the species to go on, but we want it only to go on with women in it. So that's what we have to do. That's the only way to keep the human race going is with just women. This is all the rage these days, and it's a direct consequence of feminism and the feminization of our culture, where men are seen as toxic, violent, oppressive pigs, and women are painted as the benevolent, only love you for your personality, oppressed sex. That's why people think that you actually can't be sexist towards men. Just like people think you can't be racist towards black people. And I mean, do I really care about what she says about men? Not particularly, but I do care about the cumulative effect of this happening on a large scale where society at large becomes generally dismissive of and at times resentful of men. I mean, I make fun of women all the time with stereotypes. They can't drive, they lack spatial awareness, they aren't good decision makers, they have boring interests, and all of those things are true. And I understand that they make fun of us too, and it's all good because stereotypes are funny. But if I ever hear a man saying something genuinely nasty about women as a whole and showing actual contempt for them. There's nothing cool or chic about that. It's weird and I would probably distance myself from that guy and think that he has some sort of mental issue. I certainly wouldn't sit there nodding along and agreeing and laughing, but that's exactly what all of these girls on the panel do. And I tell you what I would find admirable if at least one of them had the gumption to be like, hey, no, I actually love and respect men and I want the best for them because if they're thriving and if they're winning, then we win. I mean, that would be cool to see and I'd respect that, but I guess it's probably not very chic. So, so no, no, yes, you can't be racist against white people. No, that's reverse racism and I don't believe that exists. Now, are you talking about, let's say, are you saying, are is your definition of racism prejudice plus power? Like in what, like well, what, the ability to enforce the racism is what you consider racism versus just like well, me not liking a white person. Because I think you okay, can be yeah. racist against any Maybe that, what you're yeah. saying, race, I you suppose. consider racism, what makes it racist is that you can enforce it and make some, change uh, someone else's life. So does I mean, that mean that women I'm can't be racist? Saying. Oh. No, no, I was just <laughs> well, I mean, no, Women can be racist. Oh, but okay. that wasn't into the mics, question. guys. That's into the mics, just a reminder. Women um, can be racist. Wait, I don't so know what that. L- let me ask a question. <laughs> could, let's say we were in China. Okay. Could people in China be racist against white people in China? Yes. Right. Could Chinese people be racist towards white? Let's people? say I'm. Let's say I'm an immigrant to China. I mean, we have like or, no culture. So like, what are wait, like? What? What's the racism about? White people have no culture. Ooh, let's, I want to hear the culture. <sighs> I don't know. I love What's the people. culture? Be- I want to hear it. Beethoven, Mozart, Chopin, Schubert, Bach. There's Mendelsohn. a base that Mozart Americans? was black. Like, that's what you're referring to? Most. There's what? so much yeah, culture in uh, Europe. Yeah, that's a good point. Beethoven. Okay, but well, maybe yeah, white, white Americans Beethoven. is what you don't mean. Have culture. Well, yes, they do. They brought over their. They brought they were over raping culture and pillaging. from Europe. And then, and then Wait, inside what? of the United States. All over, you can see collectives of this from Europeans who settled in the South, which has some of its own unique culture. If you go West, it has its own unique culture. And then on the East Coast, same thing. So, yeah, they brought over a lot of things, but it was a hodgepodge of European heritages. So, but yeah, there's definitely some... There's definitely some culture here in the U.S. for sure. White people don't have exciting culture. What? <laughs> like, I don't know. As, as, com- uh, as compared to what? I mean like African heritage, Hispanic culture. Hispanic culture is high octane in comparison to, because it's almost, by the way, 
Where is when it I think culture, different? I think about like people cooking in their kitchen, passing down like recipes, traditions, like, your, like, like the Italians and the Irish and the, like the the Germans, the mass migration to the, Germany. I mean, it's, okay, it's well, ridiculous. Then the white people around me growing up everywhere I live, the, we're not partaking in this. The driest food, no stories, no one shows emotions, very cold. The driest food? Yes, the worst food. Can we take all the white straight males and shit them to their own island? Thank you, Honda. Well, that's Thank nicer you. than the planet. Okay. We just, we just need to send all the white males to another planet. <laughs> planet, island. The previous one was cis white man. Okay. Yes. Uh, next. Sometimes I wish I was a straight white man so I could do anything I want and not care how it affects any others. Sigh. Do you, do you think that's the case that just white men can pretty much to run roughshod and do anything for the most want. part at least where i grew up okay Get all right with painting a picture here okay next i guess i didn't realize how deep my f-ing hatred for white people goes like they literally make me fucking livid i'm gonna need to do some deep healing work on this one 2020, 2020 and i started yeah. that journey well, i'm just curious do you think the world would be a bet because you said we should send White men, cis white men, I think to an island, to another planet. I think there was less white people. <sighs> what? <laughs> Yo. It's crazy. I couldn't imagine. Maybe, maybe not currently, but like in, back in the day, we could have. I could not imagine. I think the world would be a better like, place with less fat people. <laughs> Whoa, 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 okay, okay, let's not get <laughs> crazy. Inside. It's a joke. He's Everyone's joking. entitled. He's definitely joking. <laughs> what does the world look like? Are you in, you're actually in favor of like less in, white people like, no, no, no. I, I wouldn't care if like the population of white people dwindled because which it is it, which exactly. it is yes yeah, because if, when you look at a global this minority insane, you want it to become insane, less insane guys no white people are a global minority because there's more people of color but who over cares if like that's but, what like, i just said they're a global that, minority oh yeah i was just explaining yeah they're a global minority so so, so basically you don't like minorities really Oh. <laughs> that's going a little far there. Well, I mean, they're a global minority. Why do you I want mean, there to be less of them? So a few important topics here, guys. So first of all, let's just acknowledge that it's always the ones who are falling over themselves to virtue signal that are actually the bigots. I mean, if she did fall over, it would be pretty difficult to get back up. But anyways, the double standard here, guys, is that you can't say this stuff about anybody but white people. And like they mentioned before, it's trendy to do this. And yeah, I get it. You won't feel the consequence of any sort of collective guilt or punishment now until you're South Africa. I mean, does Big Mama think that if there was a revolution, if people actually did try and get rid of white people, that they would stop to look through her Twitter feed and see if she's an ally before they exterminated her? And not to mention the utter idiocy of these claims. And I mean, I do find it a little bit silly when people say white and black culture because they're not a monolith. But if you do want to play that game and if you want to look at civilizations past and present and say that white people lack culture, I don't think it's going to go down so well for you. I mean, if you want a few examples of cultural achievements from white people, you might want to look at, I don't know, the Renaissance, the Enlightenment, the Industrial Revolution, the abolition of slavery, the American Constitution, British common law. You may look at cultural and political icons such as Shakespeare, or Plato, Aristotle, Mark Marcus Aurelius, Abraham Lincoln, Leonardo da Vinci, Alexander the Great, just to name a few. And even food, apparently the thing that white people are so bad at. Where are the best cuisines in the world? France and Italy. We all know it. The only time you ever want to interact with a French person is when you're eating their food. It was the most embarrassing thing I've been put through. You have no idea. Everybody in the restaurant was staring at me. Look at this fool who can't even pay a thousand euros for some pizza. So, I mean, it's not a competition, but if it was. Now, let's have a look at another aspect of this lady's worldview, especially when it comes to how the world really works. Want there to be less Bad of people them. are minori minorities. No, now they're becoming a majority. Like most people are obese, right? Or it's getting I mean, to the point where most people are obese. Most children are obese is, these yeah. days. Yeah. And that's yeah. in America. Well, so I'm just Ask out, your government yeah, about that. Yeah, so I'm Why just, is it cheaper well, so to I'm afford asking, unhealthy though. foods? Why, well, like, it's not. It's not. it's not. it's just cheaper to be lazy. And that's what what's happens is people don't want to make their There's food. There's so many reasons shit. why someone could be fat, though. It doesn't just come down to what you're oh, eating. Oh, yeah. Tell me about how the 
the I'm fat and that means I'm malnourished. Give me that again. Give me the uh, how many no, times have I heard I malnourished you... people are uh, the fat people are just malnourished. Oh. That's the problem. Okay, I'm I think they need a little one. bit less nourishing. You know what I would suggest? In fact, instead I would suggest putting down the fork. <laughs> and if you put down the fork, you're probably not going to be. That's what I would suggest. I mean, you could say that, but then you could also join me in the bathroom when I have an eating disorder and I'm throwing Mm. up all my food. Good talk. So. Um, Here, wait, let's just get back to the island. That doesn't look like that's what's going on here. Guys, let's get back to the island. I know because fat people can have eating disorders too. And I have injury. Yeah, the car crash that I almost died in. Not the outtake. Here, we have it. Here, let me read this. Literally everything. This. Uh, was in the fire too long. Literally everything and it's around not that you is I'm... white culture. Cars, electricity, politics, literature, technology, work ethic, innovation, self-improvement, philanthropy. That's from literally everything. Self-improvement is white um, culture. Worth <laughs> ethic. What? This whole country was innovation built on people of culture. color. What? Like, oh, while the white people just, go we, do that, go do that. You know they had to. Oh, my God. I can't even. What? Innovation? You... Literally, the way black people Wait, have given Far- so Farha. much more to innovation. <laughs> Farha, do you co-sign her whole island planet thing? Of sending S- white people to another planet? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Into the mic, please, so they can... No, Brian. No, and then I would lose, like, a majority of my OnlyFans subscribers. Oh so I'm God, not going to be pro send the white man all the way to the planet. Yes, and I'm not backing up on anything I say. I stand on everything I said because think... at one point in time, that is how I genuinely feel. Question. But you can Here, evolve and grow question. as a person. If all men just disappeared, do you think the world would be better <sighs> or worse? All men. It'd be safer. How many women would freeze to death and starve to death? And, and men uh, can't do know, the same? Wow. Well, well here, here's the thing. Because, because they can't maintain infrastructure. Women can't maintain infrastructure. Well, if I'm so fat, how am I going to starve to death, Andrew? <laughs> are you saying, you know, well, for, are you saying listen, hibernation? Are you talking about fair, hibernation? To be fair, to be fair. For you, for okay, you, it would be, it, would be okay, it might be six months for you. Okay. <laughs> So long That's as she true. has a water supply, water you can. Yeah. Water is what, like five days with. You maybe, get stabbed, you'll probably maybe, die. Maybe I'll nine make it to the hospital. Maybe nine months. Like, maybe the hospital. Months. I'm not worried. Yeah. Yeah. A skinny person, she gets stabbed. She's probably gonna hit an organ you, and she's gonna I don't die. Think you I'm gonna make it to the hospital. If, like, if I'm all okay men with that. were to disappear, the the immediate c- t- catastrophe that that would be. For who? Immediate <laughs> catastrophe. <laughs> I, I don't think how men, okay so what? ninety-five percent of because all tanker the drivers are men. By men. Ninety Wait, percent tank? Wait, I'm sorry, what? tanker drivers. Tanker like, like in the a war. Army truck? Tankers. No. What's, a, What's tanker? a tanker? Tank, the like, thing that hauls the gasoline. Why you gotta here? An eighteen wheeler. So no. food. No, no. Well, I don't know what a tanker. Is. No, an eighteen wheeler is hauling the tank. Road workers are men. That's okay, hauling the look, tank. Water, sewage, okay. electricity, gas, fuel, refinement, telecommunications, IT infrastructure, road maintenance, uh, uh, delivery drivers, police, fire rescue. Fra- how about other things like fracking, electrical maintenance, nuclear engineering? Like the list goes on and on and on for all the ways. Are that women you're incapable of doing those things? I'm just asking. No, I'm no, not, no, but I'm just they're asking. not. They're not. Uh, they're not Trained. enmeshed enough. Like if you had, let's say you had three months before you knew all men would disappear. Could women? enter those workforces no, and they still couldn't actually you think, well i no, think they could but physiological I mean, differences but, but, no but the scenario is if all men just instantly disappeared mm-hmm. okay critical infrastructure if all men disappeared would fail within hours the telecom network uh you loss of power would be uh because there's nobody maintaining it. I guess I just so, don't care about technology like enough to care if the power goes out. If what you about your like only fans, of though? any population, mm, that's true. It would be catastrophic. Andrew's honesty here is very refreshing. Well, I want you guys to imagine something for a second. Just think to yourself, if the power grid went down where she lives tomorrow and the supply chain was broken and she was caught in a proper survival situation i mean she just said that she'd be fine if the power went off it wouldn't even matter but what she doesn't understand is that when the power goes off it's a little bit more complicated than you not being able to charge your iphone and she's lucky because she's got a few fat reserves that would sustain her during the start of the famine but when the hunger really begins and when the people start to get animalistic and when the food runs out and they're looking around and wondering what or who their next meal might be if i were her i'd want to keep a low profile when the virus struck for obvious reasons the first ones to go were the fatties but in all seriousness guys the sheer and utter 
delusion on this human being is just such a well rounded embodiment of all of the problems happening with the Western world. She said she wouldn't care about the power outages, but she doesn't know any of the jobs that men do. But I tell you what, I'm not going to lie guys, that would be a nice state of mind to live in. Imagine just waking up in the morning and thinking that the lights just, they just turn on because you got the switch, you just do the switch and they just turn on. And when you flush the toilet, it just poof, poof it just disappears. It would be so peaceful, but imagine our TikTok generation having to actually fend for themselves. Now let's get onto the next part where they really address the elephant in the room. When Brian asks the ladies on the table to rate themselves out of 10 based on purely physical attractiveness. Whoa, look at that. Stifler, ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to 10. Stifler. <laughs> Here, we're gonna go around the table on that, starting with you, go ahead. I'll give myself a 10. Um, in the fat girl community, I would give myself a 10 out of 10. In society, I'd give myself a seven and a half out of 10 to be realistic. I'd give myself a 10 as well. Um, yeah, I would give myself a 10. I think everyone should give themselves a 10. Oh, I mean, I feel like my confidence is like a 10, but societal standards may be like a seven or eight. I would say eight too. I'm a 20. Yes. Yeah, we'll go with that. Since, since we're all going to lie, I'll just be a 20. <laughs> Thanks, some of you are being a little nice to yourself. <laughs> what do you really rate yourself, though? Like, not. Oh, I'm not. I'm not anything special. Maybe a six. Maybe a six. Maybe. Maybe 20 I think years ago. You guys ago. have a lack of confidence. No, no it's not a lack no, of confidence. Lack of it's confidence. Just, confidence could make the rating It's go just up. realism. Exactly. It's just being realistic. The confident thing is to acknowledge, yeah, I'm a six, mm -hmm. and I'm okay with that. I'm a five Is right it? now, though. I'm a five. I'm a five right now, huh? Huh? I don't know. You're if someone uh, came up to me, a guy or a girl, and was like, "I'm just so ugly. I don't think I'm that attractive." Not, well, I'd be well like, that's delusional. Yeah, that's not a confidence. Whole, that's a difference. So it's just being delusional. If you're just asking a person to assess themselves honestly. Yeah, but like someone could like look at you and be like, "That's a 10. Yeah, you don't think that's very subjective. So you think, hang on. So wait a second. Beauty, beauty, there's objective. Let me just ask you about this criticism here. Ooh, like honestly, I, gotta I feel know like this I criticism. know where this one's going. If the other girls who are there are assessing themselves at a 10 societally, how in the world could you possibly be assessing yourself at a seven? I said seven and a half. Yeah, how? Um, I mean, other than being fat, like. You mean the big thing? Like the, the literal elephant in the room, right? As it I were. mean, but like I date like people, I mean. She's pulled some hot. I, I'm dating celebrities, I mean, billionaires, real, millionaires. I'm like not even trying to be I billionaires. Mean, like all the memes, all the memes aside, so we're memeing a bit. Literally, other, but what I'm saying is this: is like, and a lot of guys <laughs> don't want to admit that they like fat girls because of guys like you, where you would turn around and look at your friend and be like, "Oh, I can't believe you like that whale," and then he feels really uncompetent no, and then don't. goes to my page wait, on wait, OnlyFans wait. and spends eight hundred dollars no. to collect my content. So, you know, it's a lot of like, maybe if you made your men counterparts more friendly, you would realize what a broad taste of women look, men actually look, have. Most of the dudes who are running around with fat chicks are ugly dudes. Oof. Most of them. Not some of them, most of Wait, them. Okay, that got, is okay. actually... Let's not linger on the whole... You know, I don't know. Thing for too long. I can't. Let's, that's not my not experience. Uh, As also wow, someone who's currently boys. in, I've been in Vogue. You can go see my face Jesus in Nordstrom's, oh. Ulta Beauty, Morphe yeah, brushes. That's because of I am like a. That's a political push to pol politicize a message nobody wants. Like men. But how, wait, wait, is being fat as a porn category also political, or men only jacking off to overweight girls because it's woke? There are men. Right. Oh, oh, so, so, really like yeah. so in that women. so in that category, where does it fall overarchingly in the porn categories? Like one through twenty, let's say. Where would it be? Would it be underneath BBW all of the hot high. chicks, right? Where would it be? BBW, is it more BBW popular than the hot high, chicks or less popular than the hot and chicks? And it's still popular with hot Right, but what is more popular than that so is the hot women. But if it was, you're treating it like it's repulsive and people are running the other way, but if well, they're searching people who have a fat fetish, girl, not there's some people. But it's not a fetish. Some it's people. A lot. Yeah. But just because I like you like a fat guys. girl doesn't mean you have no, a fetish. What I'm saying is Most that of my exes had never dated a fat girl before me. If you're cutting up, if you're cutting up pornography in this way, and you're saying 
all the people who are watching pornography, there's this subset which like to watch fat girl pornography. That doesn't mean anything. But it also, does, because that just means that you have a bunch of people. It does because of people like you saying like, oh, it's only ugly guys who are running around fat chicks. But I think porn is a catalog of everyone's guilty pleasures and their actual desires when they're not socially inhibited and it they're could alone. just be a key. So if that's a popular. Could just be some kind is of a weird kink, kink. Not related to attraction. Not it's, always. They're attra- or maybe people don't go for the things they have a kink it's in. It's not that hard to believe that some people are attracted to other. I'm body not sizes. saying that it's there's not, not some kink. who aren't. I'm just saying that normally what I see in society is when you have an ugly person or with an ugly person, when you have a beautiful person or with a beautiful person. That, I usually just, don't see it the but opposite way. You're saying way. automatically. And usually, anyone who is you, fat hey, now is ugly. I'm almost done. I'm saying that most of the time I see really fat women, they're with really fat dudes. It's most of the time. Wait, I have a question for you related to that. See, most wait, wait, guys wait, wait, that wait, hit wait. on me are uh, gym bros that are fit as fuck. That's like number one. The fittest, like, you should see the amount of like, what are they called? Like the pumper people, the bodybuilders that are in penis, my well, DMs. Penis pumpers. Insane. What? Maybe things no, are hard out. Shredded. Mm-hmm. I've been dating NFL players, rappers, they're, I'm not even gonna name drop some of the celebrities, but their boyfriends are in my DMs. Like, I think it's she's seen it. Like, it's literally, you'd be surprised. And it all comes down to a lot of men like you who talk like this, and then they just go along with, oh yeah, fat chicks are ugly, man. But then, like I said, they run back over to me, spend all their money, want to see everything. It's something that they've loved forever, but they don't feel confident enough because their friends aren't supportive of wait, their I got, taste. Wait, I got questions. Even if you. it's different. Wait, 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 wait. So, so it's men? You can say it's you not my it's taste, but you like, have equi- you wait, have wait, already equaled think, all fat women to being you ugly. You think the problem is that men like me are creating a social stigma against yes. other against other men is having yes. Yes. Oh, hooking that up with fat chicks? That was the beginning of the conversation. Really? Do you think, what do you think gay guys have You don't think that it's because they're fat chicks and they're not just not attracted to them? No, you're unattracted to them and you're making your friends feel shame and guilt for yeah. what they're Don't attracted to. Don't make them feel to. shame and guilt. Yes, that's you do. When you talk attractive. like that, do you think when you talk like that, that that's positive reinforcement? I'm not going to, I don't need to positively reinforce the so thing they all know. So you are tearing, tearing down your friends. It's something that everyone knows because How do you, know you have all no of my f- confidence, How do you Andrew. Know all of my friends <laughs> aren't the same way. Well, well, they're like all. How would you know if gross. you're constantly being an asshole and have yeah. never provided the safe place for them to open up and be like, maybe I like black chicks, maybe I like fat girls, like. And if you just because you don't like black girls, are all black girls that, ugly now? Wait, you think that men who rib each other incessantly, talk smack to each other incessantly, don't know? Like they don't let you know the types of different weird shit that they're into? They do it all the yes, time. Yes, so you don't think there's and we give them gay shit guys for who it. don't That's tell their straight friends? Down low. No, seriously. L married. Listen, and to say, to make this ridiculous <laughs> statement that the reason that societally it's okay. men just don't go, the good quality, very handsome men don't go for the big fat chicks is because guys like you create stigma. That's nuts. What about 17th century not nuts at when all. extra weight was considered to be attractive and I would be considered ugly because not I'm That kind of extra weight. I want to I wanna add, <laughs> you, though, Have you seen the statue? Yes. Yeah, this is, no, you'd be surprised. This is, In some cultures, ridiculous. that's still at, so, yeah. It's not ridiculous. I, okay, so notice how there she equated fat girls with black girls and that's not the first time she's done that during this podcast. Before, she equated her fatness to the Jim Crow era. And now she is once again equivocating her being morbidly obese with someone being black. (laughs) You could not write this stuff. It's always the white liberals who say the most about how much they love black people and how much they hate white people that are by far the most racist. And now guys, the part about male friendship groups stigmatizing their friends for liking morbidly obese women. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. If you like morbidly obese women, that is a mental illness or you are just coping. If I had a friend that came up to me and said, Jake, I love morbidly obese women. I would think that it's a perverted kink. I would look at him the same way as if he'd just come to me and said, I like pooing in my hands instead of the toilet. There is no stigma attached to it. 
it's just backwards. It's just not something that normal healthy people tend to do. And it probably requires some level of psychological help. A stigma amongst a friendship group might be how the boys would react if I was driving along in my car, blasting big girls don't cry as loud as I possibly could and singing every word, which is why I only tend to do that on desolate roads. It's time to be But this just goes to show guys, and it's getting a lot worse by the way, just how delusion a certain chunk of modern Western women really are. And just what the feminist propagandizing has done to them. The attitude of healthy at all sizes, big girls, you are beautiful, you don't need no man. You are perfect just the way you are, don't settle for anything but the best, even if you're morbidly obese. This has broken their brains and made them lose touch with reality. She said that she was a 10 in the fat girl world, or I have no idea what that means, but lowered it to a 7.5 in the real world as if she's being like humble or something. This lady is morbidly obese to the point of heart failure at any moment. And let's just call a spade a spade. It's not even just unattractive, it's remarkably unattractive. It's one of those things where you'd walk past her in the street and it'd be like a, a sobering moment that makes you realize how bad things can really get. She's a rare example of a clinical one. It's not every day you see a one, guys. And you guys may think I'm being really harsh and maybe you think that it's a fake confidence and she's really very insecure and there probably is some of that. But there also is clearly an element of her genuinely thinking that she's really hot. And that notion only intensifies in the next part. But if you ever needed a better example, a more crystal clear example of why podcasts like whatever and like Fresh and Fit are so popular because they call out this delusion, then this is the example. And this is one of those things, and we've got our own problems as guys, that is exclusively a female problem because this doesn't exist in the male world. If you are a one as a man, there is no getting away from that. The world will remind you every single day. You'll probably be very lonely. You will have absolutely zero access to women, zero opportunities, and you will be pretty much invisible. You aren't getting invited on any podcasts. That's for sure. The world will not give you a chance to have any semblance of self-respect. And if you just think about this for a second, if she thinks she's a 7.5 and all of the other girls there think that they're tens, imagine how many average girls there are out there that have an Instagram and have a lot of guys giving them attention and trying to sleep with them that think they're tens and will never settle for any less because their expectations are up here, even though they themselves are average. Spoiler alert, guys, there's a lot of them. And this is what happens when you have a world dominated by feminist narrative and also social media and then sprinkle in the fact that 80% of the consumer market is female and what do advertisers do? They pander to their audience. And there's nothing healthy about this because it means we have a lot of men stacking up at the bottom, not getting any attention from females. And then we have a whole generation of HR ladies on the horizon. They're coming to try and make rules in a workplace near you. We have the power. Always remember that. Doesn't matter if there's a man at the top of your HR department. It's run by women and it's run by angry women just like me. Not to mention it's affecting the birth rate as well. And I do think that the consequences of all of this will be catastrophic. And we're gonna see this over the next few decades. And now onto the next part guys, where they carry on with this one for a little bit. And then she goes into the kind of content she does, which is very revealing. See what you guys pick up about it and how you interpret it. And then I'll check in after. I was, there's- a It is ridiculous. Would I? We're talking about fertility statues. Okay, let's put it this way. Say I was an ugly fat girl, which I'm not, and I'm confident in that. Would they still put me in Nordstrom's? Because yes, that's my face. It's a political agenda. That's my face. You can't see it's my face. I'm gorgeous. It's political. I'm gorgeous. They're trying to push a political message. Push a political message of what? You can't see my that body. I have literally been handpicked by my fucking waist mm -hmm. up and told I'm one of the most beautiful models in the world. I get flown from New York to LA mm -hmm. to Canada to everywhere and fucking between and you think it's because i'm ugly no, i think it's because there's a political tool you're a political it tool. doesn't matter but like okay so out of all the fat people like mm -hmm. you don't think there's one pretty one you don't like pretty they're not putting ugly fat people up on there uh so i do mostly solo content but it's not even my like highest rated uh mm -hmm. the way i make the most money is basically like doing weigh-ins 
guys will jack off to me what? weighing myself on a scale. So huh? I'll be like fully clothed. Hmm. Uh, most of the stuff I do is that, fully clothed Nick. my biggest sellers and then eating of course like eat a breakfast they want to see it eat my dinner they want to see it uh, I don't know they like to see me with my belly out wait, wait, that's wait, wait, a highest wait, wait. seller whoa, 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 whoa. now does that seem normal to you guys would you think of the kinds of guys who are supposedly jacking off to her weighing herself or eating breakfast or sitting with her belly out are the kinds of guys that have good relationships with women that are dating regularly that love their mums that love their wives and their daughters not particularly doesn't really strike me as a healthy pastime and furthermore do you think that more guys would be like this if we just remove the stigma and is this a stigma that we want to remove no obviously not because this is men fetishizing her in a very dark way. They're not watching this because they find her attractive and it's not because men just secretly love morbidly obese girls and we're all just here suffering in silence, eagerly awaiting the day where the stigma is removed so that we can all start doubling and tripling the portions of the women we love. No, let me tell you what I think is really going on here. And this is all speculation, by the way, guys. This isn't fact. This is just my interpretation of what I think is happening. I believe what you're seeing there is the very, very lowest rungs of corn addiction. It's when a guy goes deeper and deeper and deeper into these rabbit holes and they're not satiated by what they're seeing anymore. And eventually they want to see more and more wild shit until it gets to the point where they want to watch someone just humiliating and degrading themselves. And it's likely that these guys have serious issues with women in their own life. And so they pay to somehow get off to watching a morbidly obese woman utterly degrade herself at their behest. Once again, they're not doing that because they find her so hot and sexy and because we're all here yearning for a morbidly obese woman. They're doing it for the humiliation and the degradation. And I don't need to tell you guys, that's not very healthy. And if you think about it, guys, kind of relates to what I was saying before. These are the dangers of when men stack up at the bottom of society and become resentful and become invisible to women. It comes out in very, very strange and dark ways. And there is just nothing healthy about this imbalance that we've got going on for men and for women. So that's my rant over for the day, guys. And if you guys would like to subscribe to the channel right here, my links are all gonna be below if you'd like to watch another video right here. Till next time, I'm Jake, this is Rattlesnake TV, keeping you armed and dangerous.